In this video I'm going to explain how to update your own code step by step as if you were a beginner. So the first thing is to go to this website here and it has instructions on how to download the software and basically you, I'm following these. So what I've done is I've printed that out here and I'm going to follow it step by step so that you can copy me. So I haven't done this before, but it's the first time for everything. Right, the first step is this is a Windows computer I'm using. So for Windows, you have to download the Arduino software separately and install Teensy Duino on top. Teensy is the name of the actual little computer that's inside the DigiGurdy. Here is a, here's one, it's that. You see there, that thing, that's, that's actually a computer about as powerful as something in your mobile phone. Um, so, okay, Arduino, what's that? Arduino is a, um, a kind of programming environment for the little hobby microcontrollers, but you don't need to understand all that. You just need to have it loaded in the background. So um, I'm going to go to this, look, this link here, and then load it. And it says the default options are all fine. So let's do that step by step. So I clicked on that link and you see it's downloading. So this is a program for programming Arduino hobby electronic boards. They're like little computers on a board. But as I say, you don't need to understand how it all works. You just need to install it with its basic settings. So we're nearly there. Right, so show in folder, open when done. How about that? Right, see what happens now, if anything. Oh, something's happening. Just minimise that. Right. Now I've got an hourglass, so it's installing itself. Right, this will take a minute. So we're about halfway through installing here. This is an old, slowish Windows PC. Right, the installation is completed, so I'm going to press close. Right. Now it says, the default options are fine. There is a step that will ask you which libraries you want to install. It hasn't actually asked me that. You don't need to install any of them, but if you leave it as default and install them, that's okay. After you've installed that, install the Teensy Duino software. Okay. Um, I'm just going to open, you see this icon's appeared. I'm going to open Arduino just to see what, what happens. <laughs> right, well, I won't bore you with that, but it, it did open and I just closed it again, the program, just by clicking on that. Um, icon there. So the next step uh, is install the Teensy Duino software. This is an extra bit of software that runs the uh, Teensy computer board. That's the little computer here on my larger DigiGurdy circuit board. So I'm going to click this link now. Um, wherever that went. Okay, so after you've installed that, install the Teensy Duino software. So here we are. I'm going to click on that, see what happens. Ah, right. Right, you see it's downloading that. Mm. 
nearly there. Okay, I'm going to open it. Okay, so okay, so we're um, installing Teensy Duino. So yes, there's the hourglass. And you'll notice I minimise the other screens, otherwise they cover this up. You can't see it. So this adds fast to your software. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we want that. Okay, so click next. Default settings are fine, so yeah, we're going to put it into C program files x86 Arduino next next install Okay, so it's installing it um, Just be aware that I've minimized the other pages otherwise you couldn't even see this Right, it's installed, so now we click done. And I don't know why that's come up. No, we get rid of that. Once you've got the correct software then on your PC, the steps to change the software in the GERDI are plug in through the USB cable your GERDI into your laptop, then go open your file explorer and go to the C drive, your main drive, open program files, x86, double click. Right, then find Arduino there, double click. Now, without moving the mouse, I didn't move the mouse pointer at all, it lands, you see, on hardware. That's what you want, double click. And without moving the mouse, it falls on tools, not Teensy. Teensy is the name of the computer inside here, but actually on this occasion you want tools. So you don't even have to move the mouse pointer. Double click. Right, go down to Teensy. See, it looks different. There's a picture of, of a Teensy board, tiny picture. Double click. Right, now you see something flashed up and then it got hidden by this. So if I move this out of the way, or minimize it just for a moment right you can see this this is what you want now this square here double click right now it's um, it's opened what you have to do is find the build that you want now if you so they're on Basil's website, but if there's any confusion at all, I'll just email you the build that you need. You see I've got a choice of three here. So I know I want this one, which is the latest build at the moment. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to open it. Click. And you can see it's a hex file and it goes back to that. Now just forget about that. Minimize it if you want. Now you need to go back to your file explorer that we minimized do you remember before so we'll click that and it'll come back up there we are right now this is the last step you click teensy reboot double click the screen should get this black thing on it and then your GERDI should reboot itself and it has and that's it you've reloaded the software you can check the version on the menu the initial screen that pops up remember when you first use it you need to select other options key 4 and you need to clear the EEPROM what does that mean it means wipe the memory of all previous information because you're starting again so we'll clear the EEPROM button 1 right now we're back to normal so we'll go to other options um, secondary output I'm going to select MIDI out not the audio board 2 gives you the audio board inside 1 is things like this or um, just the cable USB cable to your iPad for example so we'll select 1 ok load a preset choose a tuning and we're ready
ready to go again with the new software. That is it. It's not that hard. Once you've done it once, it's fine. So that's how you do a software update.